What's up everybody? Welcome to this episode of 5 Minute Mixing Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a send effect in FL Studio. Send effect is different from an insert effect because you literally send your main signal to the effect rather than inserting the effect right into um, and changing your main signal. So if you open up your mixer in FL Studio, you'll notice that over to the right there's four mixer tracks set aside, 100, 101, 102, 103. These are automatically routed to be a send effect, meaning that you can take any of the other mixer tracks, send your signal to one of those, and then that signal is automatically sent to your master track. So in this particular beat that I have loaded up, there's a uh, little vocal sample that I sliced up, and in order to give it some extra depth and dimension, I used a reverb send so that it didn't change the main signal of the vocal, but it did give it some presence. So I'm going to play this for you real quick so you can hear it, and then I'll show you how we did the effect. So let's isolate our sound. So in order to use our send effect, you want to highlight the track that you're going to send and then go over to whatever track you're sending to and at the very bottom there's a little dial. and You can click on that and drag up or down to change how much of the signal you want to send and then the volume knob will change how much of that signal then leaves that track to go to your master track. So I used a convolution verb. We just put the effect here. And you always want to make sure you turn off your dry signal and turn your wet signal all the way up. That way, when you send your signal to your effect channel, you're not going to boost the original sound of your signal. You're only going to be adding the effect to it. So let's see what this would sound like if we didn't send our vocal to it. And now we're going to add some of this effect. And you adjust it to taste. Sounds pretty good. And then you play it back with your main track and see what it sounds like. And it's as easy as that. Select whatever track you want to change. You go right on over and send the signal to one of your effect tracks and adjust. That about wraps it up, guys. Thank you very much for watching this episode of 5 Minute Mixing Tips. I hope it was helpful to somebody out there. Feel free to leave a message in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And if there's anything particular you'd like me to do a video about in the future, please let me know. Thank you.